Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. And today you're gonna to see another fantastic car. I'm here with Tom Lundbeck. Tom's uh, been on the show before. Tom, thanks for coming back again. Good to see you, Lou. And we've got a car that was at the Muscle Car and Corvette National last year of Tom's. It was the Spring Green Daytona Hemi. So check that out. But today you're getting another car that is just as amazing. What do we have today? Today we have a 1971 black Hemi Cuda that may be the holy grail of all 71 Hemi Cudas. <laughs> it was ordered with white interior, white billboards, it's a four speed, it's a 410 Dana, and it's probably the rarest black uh, Hemi Cuda ever built. You stop right there, let me grab the camera as I usually do. Tom, now, you're kind of a, a Hemi guy, and you've got several Hemi cars. This one, where do you rank this at? This could be the top of all the uh, Hemi cars that I've got. Stand right next to me. Let's take a look at it. Let's go right to the featured event. Keep talking. Here we go. Uh, so tell me where this, you know, how did, how, what's the story? How'd you, you know, first of all, how'd you get interested in Hemi cars? Uh, my first Hemi car that I ever saw was a 1970 Lemon Twist Hemi Cuda back in college in 1979. And I just fell in love with the, with the, uh, the body style of the Cuda. So, Fast forward years later, uh, everybody in the hobby who collects these rare cars knew of this black Hemi Cuda. And in the past- uh, Come with me while we're, we got no, go the ahead. The past 15 years, it's been in England in a collection of Carlos Monteverdi. And it was previously thought to be uh, an untouchable car that would never be sold and never seen back here in the US. But uh, last year, I bought a Hemi Daytona from them and at the time, I'd asked if this car was for sale, and they said, no, it's not for sale, and it will never be for sale. Fast forward about six, eight months ahead of that, I get uh, a message saying that there was a new list of cars that they were considering selling, and I looked, and here was this black 71 Hemi Cuda, the holy grail of all Cudas on the list. So they threw me a price. I asked if I should negotiate. They said no. <laughs> I realized that it was probably a good idea no. not to negotiate. So I scrambled to get all the money together and I sent it over there and two, three months later, the car showed up and uh, here it is. So what do you feel like when you get the holy grail of Hemi Kudos? I, I gotta just look at the front of that again. First of all, let me just get the, the details there. They call those the dog dish? Dog dish, uh, steel rims, yes. Steel rims. Let's take one more look at the front. And kind of give us the difference between the, you know, there's a clearly a grill difference in the 71s are a single headlight versus the 72s, but what makes the 71 Hemi so crazy? Uh, that Just it, collectability. The production numbers are about 107 hard tops or 107 all told with convertibles, and it's just so much rarer than a 70 Hemi Cuda where, where there were 652 cars. And over the years, people have kind of gravitated towards the 71 with the uh, louvered fenders, the billboards, which is the ultimate option uh, on these cars. There may be only 10 or 12 real billboard uh, Hemi Cudas in existence. The fact that this one's white with white billboards on a black car is just a mind-blowing you know, combination. Oh, I uh, just... The only thing that could possibly compete with this color is a sassy grass green car that was ordered with billboards of four speed and, and real high option. But it's a toss up whether black or sassy grass green is the best color in existence. You've got the center, center blow horn there. Now this car was not ordered with the rally dash and that could be a bone of contention with some of the purists that, you know, the rally dash is a lot better looking but this car was uh, ordered to race and with the 410 Dane and the four speed. So a lot of guys didn't order the rally dash and just you know put a uh, aftermarket uh, tack on the car. And I'm noticing no radio. So radio delete. Radio delete. So this was specifically. So, I mean, a couple options like that, you know, they're not a deal killer when the car's black with white interior. No, white you know. I don't think it's, I don't think anybody's missing that. There's your interior up the center and your pistol grip shifter. Let's take a look under the hood. You got the right day and the sun hitting it the right way to take a look at that.
Look at that's that. The, uh, that's the fender tag showing all the options and the, you know, real kicker is at V6W, which signifies white billboards. And there's E74 for Hemi, D21 four speed, and the TX9 black. And what's the Hemi fender? That's just the second fender on the 71s where all the options would be on the first tag and then the second fender tag would show Hemi fender. This is great. So, you know, it's been restored and it was restored in the late 90s before it went to England. And there's a few things that need, you know, correcting on it, but I'm always, you know, more concerned about the rarity of the car, not that everything's perfect on it. Some guys get all worked up that you don't have the right clip or that this is wrong. Um, you know, the yeah, car is what the car is. Just try finding one. Yeah, just try finding one. <laughs> yeah, good luck. You can always fix good some luck. stuff. You always fix some details later, yeah. but, you know. Let's start her up. Now, understanding we haven't uh, started this car, uh, could have been sitting for years. Right. How long have you had it again? Probably only three, four months. Three, four months. And so, you always inherit someone else's, you know, problems. If they don't start it, if they don't maintain it, yeah. if it's not done correctly, so then you inherit that and then you have to fix that. Let's hear your problem. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Now that noise we heard was probably a, a clutch, uh, the throw out bearing, making a little noise because I had the clutch down. It sounded pretty yeah, good. Yeah, well when I first started. Let me get a little exhaust on it, hold on. <laughs> hey Tom, let's shut her down. Come on out. Let's uh, close up the hood and have you stand right next to her. Tom, stand right next to your, your prize possession here. Great Hemi Cuda. Thanks so much, Tom, for sharing. Thanks for being on my car story. All right. Thanks a lot, Luke.